Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new studio update and I want to start uh, yeah, informing you that I finally won the Armies on Parade in the Games Workshop store of Brussels. So very happy with that. I won with my Harlequins and the display board that I showed before in the channel. So here just it's a little bit the light is not the best here, but just a little bit of this is the winning army. Some close ups. So very happy. I put a lot of effort on that army and I'm very happy that I managed to get the first place. I will put some pictures at the end showing more pictures that were done during the, during the contest and also pictures of the board, how, they, how it was looking like on the, on the shop and I will put also pictures of the second and the third um, classifieds in, the, in this tournament, so, uh, in this contest, sorry. So very happy and this was the board I, present, I did and I put some other, I put in, on top of some terrain. So now let's go for a studio update. So what is going to come next in this studio? Okay, I will keep working. As you can see, I will keep working on 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 my uh, how to call them uh, stone cast eternals. So I will finalize the unit of um, prosecutors. I will do these guys. It's called I don't remember the name of these guys. And the guys with the big hammers and I use, uh, another unit of liberators. But I need to do a side project for a for a, I will play a tournament of Warhammer Fantasy 8th edition. So I'm preparing some tiny pets to be put to be used as objectives. So here I have this one. I have two thanks. Um, all elves are dark. He just came to play with me yesterday and gave me this small tiny pets so this is a wolf or dog I have a tiny griffon with wings and a tiny dragon so I will paint them this week and I will show you at the end of the week how they look like but these are objective markers for the tournament. I, it's going to be a fast painting, a small pic, miniatures, but I did. I wanted to give them some fancy bases. So this one, on top of a bra of a trunk like that, and the other ones. I will put this guy here like he's smelling a bush. So I will put him like in the extreme here. So it's so imagine that he's standing up there and then I will put a bush on this part like if he's smelling the bush or something is hiding inside of the bush this guy just this one I will put some bushes and something like there and this hippo is just standing on top of a rock with his skull so very nice miniatures so I will do stop on on the prosecutors just to paint them. We'll paint them in parallel. This is almost done. Well, almost done. This more than fifty percent of the work done because the wings are the ones that they use for the tutorial. So they are completely done at this point. Uh, what else will come during this month? H of, uh, the budget of Sigmar, and I'm preparing this guy for the budget of Sigmar. So end of the month, I will do a budget of Sigmar update. Uh, also, uh, maybe beginning of next week, but uh, this is uh, because I will explain how I use that and what are the plans for this guy. Here the box starts to be empty, so doing some progress there. And I think this will keep me busy for the month, so and on gaming, as I say, I will be on a 8th edition Warhammer Fantasy Battle tournament and local tournament, 3 games. I will try to post them as a battle report, or at least I will do a tournament report uh, and then go back to Age of Sigmar. Uh, maybe it's going to be my far way to 8th edition. I'm wondering if I will do or not 9th edition in future, but I, I, I have to be fair with you. And I think I like more Age of Sigmar. 
The last rules yesterday we spent five hours for a game of um, 2,400 points because we are not, yeah, we play very casually, so we don't remind all the rules, and then you have to go a, a lot of times back to the rule book. But yeah, if I will never close the doors to play eighth edition or ninth edition, so if someone by any chance wants to play with me. I will always uh, play, and this is the reason I don't change the basis for my uh, Bretonian and for my Skaven army. And I think I will keep putting them on a square basis, so I will need to purchase a square basis when I put them, when I buy them. So that's all what I want to share for this studio update. So keep tuned. Uh, more to come on the Stormcast Eternal. More to come on Budget of Sigmar, and yeah, and these tiny guys will come. And this week in the channel, and some more battle reports this time, most likely on um, Warhammer Fantasy. Maybe end of the month, I will do uh, another some more battle reports. I don't know if on Blood Bowl, uh, they is starting a League of Blood Bowl in the Games Workshop store, or maybe on uh, on 40k or, uh, or Age of Sigmar. So keep tuned, more to come this channel, more to come this month in this channel, and yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and see you again later. Bye.